Millions of Jeeps have rolled off the assembly lines in Toledo throughout the years. But a Hancock County family has a very special model. It's a prototype made at the plant in the 1970s. 13 Action News reporter Lisa Guyton joins us with this incredible story behind this vehicle. Lisa. Uh, the family says the Jeep is so rare that they lovingly call it a unicorn. They say because it never went into production, it is the only one of its kind in the world. And they have spent years bringing it back to life. This is the unicorn. It's been part of Paula Smith's life since she was a little girl. My cousins and I would fight over who got to sit in the back and we'd just look out the window and wave at the semis and just think we were the neatest things because they would all do double looks like, what's this? Paula's grandfather, Pete Johnson, was the man behind it. I was almost a child to him and he was just so proud of it. Paula says Pete was a research and development supervisor at the original Toledo Jeep plant. Pete designed this Jeep truck prototype in 1977. It wasn't picked up for production and was supposed to be destroyed. But Paula's husband, Michael, says Pete had other ideas. And he loved it so much, he would hide it in the factory. And from what, we under, what we've learned in a file cabinet room, and when the uppers, higher ups would come up to find it, he would put files in front of it. And then when they would leave, <laughs> it would come back out and they'd use it for lunch. And Michael says Pete was eventually able to officially own his creation. The boss let him buy it for $1. And he, he had, I guess he had to trailer at home, wasn't allowed to drive it off the parking lot, you know, all legalities, you know. And that was more than 40 years ago. I used to stack plywood on this truck in my shop. I had no idea how rare it was. But restoring the Jeep to its former glory became a passion project for Michael. You know how long it takes to find a washer bottle that's in good condition that looks like this? Michael is a contractor by trade, but he's loved working on cars since he was a kid. He spent more than a decade on the Unicorn Project. I took it down to the frame to nothing. I took the rear ends apart, I took the motor apart, the transmission apart. Every, I, I looked for three months to get the interior headliner because I, I promised Grandma on her deathbed that every bolt would be exactly the way Grandpa did it. And I've gone to great lengths to make sure that's happened. The Jeep is certainly a beautiful tribute to Pete's career. It's kind of like he's still here. Yeah. It, I don't know. I, I think he'd be proud. Pete's pride and joy will soon be back on the road so the family can make more memories with their unicorn. It will be on display at Toledo Jeep Fest this year. I'm like a little kid about ready to go to the amusement park or something. I'm so excited because there has become such a following for this thing that there's people saying that they're going to come to the Jeep Fest just to see this thing. I wish my grandpa was here to see it, but I think he is. The Smiths took their unicorn to Jeep Fest in 2019 before it was finished, and people were amazed by it then. So it should be an even bigger draw at this year's Jeep Fest, which runs August 4th through the 6th. And it is definitely worth the trip to see this unicorn in person. Reporting live, Lisa Guyton, 13 Action News.